tell us all about what to expect is bass player of Our Lady Peace, Duncan Coots. Good morning, Duncan. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. We appreciate it. So you're coming to Rochester. How excited are you? Uh, I'm just really excited to be back on the road in a very normal way again. Not worried about shutdowns and lockdowns and rules and, and just communing with uh, with fellow music lovers again. What what have the past uh, two-ish years been like for you and, and the rest of your band? Uh, look, I mean, it was we were all forced into uh, a shutdown mode uh, across sort of every sector, but we were lucky enough to make a record and uh, and use technology to do that because two of us live in Los Angeles and two of us live in and around Toronto. So uh, so we completed a record which we released last year called Spiritual Machines 2. And uh, it was nice to be able to be creative, but it is really good to be able to get back together again. Talk to me, if you can, about the genesis of this album, because it's Spiritual Machines 2, the number two. Correct. Well, in, in uh, the late 90s, I think it actually came out in 2000, but in the late 90s, our, our old guitar player, Mike Turner, brought a book onto the bus called The, the Age of Spiritual Machines by Ray Kurzweil. You know, famous inventor, futurist, who, who was kind enough to to lend us his voice and his predictions to that first record. And and for years, uh, Rain and I have been talking about it, whether it would be right to do a follow up to that. And it just kind of felt like in the pandemic, uh, with all the technologies that we were using, going back and revisiting Ray's first book, where uh, I think it was over 80 of his, maybe 80% 80 of his predictions came true. It just felt like a right time to do a follow-up to it. Can you talk to us about some of the, the, the themes that are explored in, in the music on this new album? Yeah, I mean, <sighs> Rain's really the lyricist, but I know the things that we've been talking about is, and that he was inspired most by for the lyrics, was, you know, I think as a society, we are, we are all... Uh, we are all being trained to 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 buy into the divisiveness, to to look at the bleak picture of the future because it, uh, it there's essentially more clickbait with that. Whereas if we look at the predictions in, that Ray is now making, is is how to harness AI and 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 use it for good in terms of climate change, in terms of a number of different things, as opposed to uh, you know looking at it through the lens of. Uh, you know, the, the old Terminator movies. Mm. I, I, I like the reference there. I like the reference there. A lot of, a lot of uh, it, it seems like a uh, generational thing. It seems fitting to it be is. coming from you guys. <laughs> it, is. it does, it does. So talk to us, uh, what can people expect from this tour? For anybody maybe who's seen you in the past or who's never right. seen you play live, what are we gonna see? Well, I mean, we always try and do a cross-section of music from our whole career. Uh, we don't want to sort of cut off anything because, you know, as a music fan myself, there are certain songs when I go see a band play, I, I really would love that, to see them play or at least represent that record because it meant so much to me. So we try and do a cross-section of music. But we did, uh, we did a, the, the first part of the Wonderful Future Tour in Canada, and we partnered with a hologram company, and we filmed some holograms. Now... The places that we've been playing and the way we've been touring the states has, has made it difficult to bring those actual hologram capsules but we found some ways to still deliver the content uh while being true to the uh, the original intention of it so you'll see you'll see some special guests pop up that we play live with and i'm using air quotes with live uh and and we have Ray as a hologram on film, so doing a few of the predictions. So there's a little bit of a theatrical bent to it while still being, uh, you know, a rock and roll show. I mean, it, it, it sounds exciting. You, you, it sounds exciting. It sounds very technologically yeah. advanced. Um, certainly not something you would expect to see on, a, on an average tour. Right, exactly. We're not traveling with, you know, 15 or 16 tractor trailers and a bunch of buses. We're just touring with us in a bus and a trailer. So whatever you see on that stage has to fit in there. So we tried to be lean and mean and and but yet still bring something that 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 makes people think at the same time as getting out of the seats and singing, right? Because the good shows are really only when it becomes about 
uh, a room of people not a band presenting music to an audience. Absolutely, and I mean, that that's what people want and that's what people do. They show up to the concert and guess what? They're gonna join you and sing along every word exactly. they can remember, which I have to imagine is appreciated on your part. Um, now, I know you've been, you guys have played the area before. Uh, do you recall anything about uh, your past visits? Um, oh, yeah, I mean, I can't remember the name of the place, I, I wanna say, Water Street, but I know that's not right. But back in the day, uh, Mr. Maida, our our uh, our lead singer, w had a penchant for climbing balconies and then throwing himself <laughs> down into the arms of the audience. I'm glad he's <laughs> past that because I always put my heart in my mouth every time he did that. But uh, yeah, we played Rochester so many times, and uh, we're just really happy to come be coming back again well listen we are excited to have you we've got some garbage plates with your names on them uh <laughs> you you are going to be at del lago the show is eight o'clock our lady peace the wonderful future tour coming to del lago this thursday at 8 p.m tickets are still available got to get them online we will link all of that information on our website fox rochester Dot com after the show. Duncan Coots, bassist, thank you so much for waking up with us and chatting about the tour. We really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. Enjoy your day. Thank you. You too. Mm -hmm.